Hey everybody, we're gonna do one more game for the Xbox 360, and that is Jeopardy. Let's see how I do. Please welcome our contestants. Player yeah. one. <laughs> Player two. Yeah. Player three. Yeah. And now. Here is the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trebek. Thank you, Johnny Gilbert, and thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. Let's take you right now into the Jeopardy round. Clues are worth $200 to $1,000 in these categories. Mobilized. 1907. Art for art's sake. Celebrities. Let's visit India. And Gnomes de Plume. Player one, Mount Rushmu, a depiction of four imposing bovines, was sculpted by Jim Victor from this dairy product. It's player one. No. no. Any other takers? Here's the correct response. Butter. Player one. A room full of silver balloons that move with the air currents is a highlight of this pop artist's Pittsburgh Museum. Player one. Yeah! Good, and you're back into some money. You, if you donate $135 to his sanctuary, you can own a painting signed by this Tarzan co-star. Okay, player one. Yeah! Right. <laughs> you get who else but this Iberian would paint giant flying demitas with incomprehensible appendage five meters long. It's player one. Yes. <laughs> Player this one. rap artist and his wife Jean-Claude used more than a million square feet of fabric to wrap the Reichstag. Okay, player one. That's not it. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? The correct response is Christo. Player one, choose again. This host of American Idol was born in Atlanta in 1974. It's player one. Yes. Please. This Brit signed on to play for the LA Galaxy soccer team in 2007. Let's hear it, player one. That's right. Way to go. Yeah. Woo. Player one. Let's get Kelly's assistance on this clue. Borat portrayer Sasha Baron Cohen studied history at this British university named for a river crossing. Okay, player one. That's it. <laughs> you, before he was James Bond, he was Alex West in Lara Croft 
Tomb Raider. It's player one. You are correct. Player she one. was nominated for a 2011 Teen Choice Award for her role as Adam Sandler's assistant in Just Go With It. It's player one. You got it. <laughs> you again, player one. Northern India is the birthplace of this religion started by Siddhartha. Player one. Right. <laughs> Player Under one. the East India Company and then the government, this country ruled most of India until 1947. Let's hear it, Player One. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> Player In one. India, a mahout is a keeper of these animals. Okay, Player One. Yeah. Right you are. <laughs> so Eden Gardens in Calcutta is the world's largest stadium for this sport, popular in India. Okay, player one. Yeah, good. <laughs> so he was India's first prime minister. Yes, player one. <laughs> Player one. A mechanical device used to indicate musical tempo. Player one. Correct. <laughs> Player one. Why agaric is one of these spore producing fungi of the Basidiomycetes class? Okay. Player one. That's right, way to go. <laughs> Player one. It can be a powerful person in entertainment or a member of a Muslim dynasty that once ruled India. Player one. <laughs> yeah, <good. laughs> yeah. Woo. Player Someone one. Someone who moves from relationship to relationship is a serial one. It's player one. Anyone else? Here's the correct response. A monogamist. Please. This large tube-shaped pasta is often stuffed with cheese and baked with a tomato sauce. It's player one. Correct. <laughs> Woo! Select again. Florence Ziegfeld produced his first of these extravaganzas in 1907 and would continue them for the next 24 years. Okay, player one. Right. <laughs> Select for works like Gunga Din, he became the first Brit awarded the Nobel Prize for Literature. Let's hear it, player one. You got it. <laughs> Player With one. this man as president, the government budget was $579 million, and unemployment stood at 2.8%. Player one? You got it. <laughs> we read Charles Curtis. Republican, Kansas, became the first Native American to serve as one of these. Let's hear it, player one. Right. <laughs> player one. And so, it's the Daily Double. And you have the lead. Player one, give us a word. Here is your daily double clue. More than 40 nations attended the second international this conference in The Hague. 
You have maintained your lead. Way to go. You get to pick it. In French, this graceful swimmer is un signe. Player one. Good. <laughs> Player one. This peaceful bird is une colombe. Player one. Yeah! You are correct. You again. Ask your mother. This silly bird is une oie. It's player one. Yeah! Yes. <laughs> Select this nocturnal bird of prey is un hibou. Okay, player one. Yeah! Correct. <laughs> Here's the thousand dollar clue for you. This small game bird is un kai. Let's hear it, player one. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> player two, you're going first in double jeopardy, and we'll start that round right after this break. And we have two daily doubles awaiting you in these categories. Literary Great Escapes. Very, very good. Daniel Boone. Movie Folk. Metals. And World Heritage Sites. All right, let's get back into this. Player two has control. This entire Italian city, spread over 118 islands, is a World Heritage Site. Yes, player one? Correct. <laughs> yeah. Woo. Player one. Ellie? The pyramid known as the castle is one of the wonders of this ancient Mayan city. Let's hear it, player one. That's correct. <laughs> yeah. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> one of the daily doubles. And you're in the lead now, Answer. This South American capital didn't exist 60 years ago. That puts you even further ahead. Please, you can visit this country's Los Omedos historic park, even if you're not a Viking. It's player one. You are correct. A one. visit to this country's Komodo National Park shouldn't drag on all day. Let's hear it, player one. Correct. <laughs> Select again. Dawes Butler voiced this animated TV hound. Let's hear it, player one. Yes. <laughs> Player one. These are forever in a top ten hit from 1967. Player one. Yes. <laughs> Player Pro one. Pro boxers have been battling under this Marcus's rules since the late 1800s. Yes. Player one. Good. <laughs> Please. Title Avenue in Theodore Geisel's first book. Player one? That's it. <laughs> Player Inept one? Inept policeman in Shakespeare's Much Ado About Nothing. Let's hear it, Player one. Good. <laughs> Player one? Tick Licker was Daniel Boone's nickname for this indispensable possession. Yes, player one. No, oh, sorry. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? We're talking about his rifle. Please. In 1778, Daniel Boone was taken captive and adopted by Chief Blackfish of this Indian tribe. Let's hear it, player one. No, that's not right. 
Any other takers? The correct response is the Shawnee. Player one, you pick a cleared under Daniel Boone's direction in 1775, the Wilderness Road passed through this famous gap. It's player one. That's right, way to go. <laughs> player one. In his poem Don Juan, this Englishman wrote seven stanzas about Daniel Boone and his virile exploits. Let's hear it, player one. That's yeah. correct. <laughs> player James one. Fenimore Cooper based this last of the Mohicans character on Daniel Boone. Let's hear it, player one. Yeah. Good for you. <laughs> Please pick again. In this 1852 work, Eliza makes a harrowing escape across a frozen river from a slave trader named Halley. Player one? Good. <laughs> we By clinging to the belly of a ram, this mythological figure escaped from the cave of the Cyclops. It's player one. Good. <laughs> You, Henri Charrier recounted his numerous escape attempts from French prisons in South America in this work. Yes, player one? Sorry, that's wrong. Any other takers? Here's what we were looking for. Papillon. Player one. In the Deerslayer, this character escapes from the Hurons when Chingachgook helps to free him. Okay, player one. Yeah! Yep. <laughs> you get Pangloss keeps his incorrigible optimism intact when he escapes an incompetent hangman's noose in this satire. Player one? Right. Yeah. <laughs> Please pick it pricier than gold. It's the metal of Jennifer Lopez's albums and of her earrings at the premiere of El Cantante. Player one? Right you are. <laughs> Select. Here's Sarah. By studying seismic waves, scientists concluded that the Earth is made up of four layers. The crust, mantle, a liquid outer core, and a solid inner core, made mainly of this metal. It's player one. Oh. Sorry. That's wrong. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Okay, player two. Right. <laughs> okay, let's get back into this. Player two, you make the next selection as we... Antimony gives strength and hardness to this metal, so you don't have those mushy bullets. Okay, player one. That is correct. <laughs> yeah. Woo. Player one. Answer. <laughs> the second daily double. You are in the lead right now. How much? And the clue. Brass is an alloy of copper and this. The more this, the less malleable. <gasps> However, you keep your lead. Here is what we wanted. Zinc. Player to one. withstand the pressure over 14,000 feet down, the submersible Alvin's hull is this metal, about two inches thick. Yes, player one? <gasps> nope. Sorry. 
Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? The correct response is titanium. Player one. Rejected by USC Film School, this S in DreamWorks SKG now sits on the film school's board of counselors. Player one. Yes. <laughs> Player one. Jerry Maguire was originally written for Tom, not Cruz, but him. Let's hear it, Player One. Good for you. <laughs> yeah. Woo. Select. He majored in journalism at Fordham before playing a newspaper reporter in the Pelican Brief. It's Player One. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you get this actor got his name by giving his mom a fetal kick while she viewed a Da Vinci work. Yes, player one. Yeah. You are correct. <laughs> now let's take a look at that two thousand dollar clue, shall we? To get orc war screams for the Lord of the Rings, this director put phonetic yells on a scoreboard for twenty-five thousand cricket fans. Okay, player one. That's correct. <laughs> Sorry, player three. Your score is not on the positive side, so you will not be joining us for Final Jeopardy. We've got the Final Jeopardy round here for you, and today it features this category. Midwest topography. You need to select your wager. And now the last clue. This state has the largest sand dunes complex in the United States, just north of a river named for its flatness. I know this. And your response? And that will lose you. Did you come up with the correct response? And this correct response will add how much to your score? This makes you our new champion, player one. So congratulations. Thanks for playing, everybody. See you next time.